Ramadan Picks. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. To all the listeners, the brothers and sisters, welcome to another episode Ramadan Picks. What Ramadan can do to us about our neighbors, our duty towards our neighbors. When you talk about Ramadan, you are talking about a man that is here to make us a better person. When you talk about Iman, the Prophet is telling us again, whoever believe in Allah and the Day of Judgment, they must always try their level best to honor the right of their neighbors. When you talk about neighbors in Islam, you are not talking, I'm talking about only Muslim neighbors. No, the Prophet never said they're only Muslim neighbors. No. In general, the Prophet is talking about the neighbor's rights. To the extent there was a hadith that the Prophet mentioned that, that Gabriel came to talk to him, remind him about the neighbors so seriously as though that now the Prophet felt that the neighbor have even the right to inherit yeah, their property, our property. The Prophet remind us 40 houses on the right, 40 left, 40 front and 40 behind. And now we have condominium flats, 40 up and 40 down. They are all neighbors, according to the teaching of Islam. They have right upon, if they are Muslim, they have two rights, the right of a Muslim and the right to be a neighbor. If they are family, they have three rights, the right of the family, the right of the Muslim, and the right being a neighbor. If they are just a neighbor, not our family, and they are neither Muslim, they have one right, the right as a neighbor. Islam is not just a region for you and me, but it's also for other, and also the important point is for your neighbor. It's very sad to see that we have neighbors, but they are not yet Muslim. Or they are Muslim, but they don't care about Islam, and we don't care about them. Or maybe we show some care, we pass some food, we share some kind of delights with them, but we don't share, give them a good reminder. We don't give them nasiha. And when we talk about nasiha, I'm not talking about just chit-chatting, talking about dunya, talking about business. We are talking about what Allah said in His book, Kitabillah wa Sunnatu Rasul. Brother and sister, see what Ramadan can do to us if we understand the ruh, the spirit of Ramadan. Not only the ritual, but also the value. The value that Allah subhanahu wants us to be, now to be a person who care for ourselves, of course, our family, and also we care for our neighbors. Because Islam always starts from ourselves. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even said to us in other ayah, Ya ayuhallazina amanu. Again, Allah used the term iman, believer. Ya ayuhallazina amanu, O you who believe. Ku anfusakum wa ahalikum nar. You have to save yourself and your immediate family from hellfire. If you fail to do that, I don't think we can save our neighbor. Yeah, after you can save yourself, you start to change, inshallah, you can see your neighbor now is getting closer to you, he respects you more, now he loves you more because you bring benefit to them. And even the Prophet said, Al Mu'min man ta'atun. A believer always bring benefit. In other ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used to say to us, Ya ayuhallazina amanu. Allah said to those believers, yeah, that if you have a neighbor who are not yet a Muslim, if they are not yet a Muslim, you must remember that you have a responsibility to them. Don't depart from them until you let them hear the word of Allah. Hatta yasma'a kalam Allah. Hatta yasma kalam. Don't just depart with them without introducing what Allah subhanahu wa said in the Quran to them. Make them know what is the Quran. Make them know who is Allah.
So we hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make us understand the ruh of Ramadan, not just the ritual, and then will make us a person who really have iman, follow with amal. What is the amal that we are going to discuss, that we have been discussing now, is about our duty towards our neighbor. Don't forget that, brothers and sisters, we have a responsibility towards our neighbors. If they have not been a good Muslim, but they are all Muslim, it's our duty to remind them from become a just a Muslim to become a practicing Muslim. If they are not yet Muslim, it's our duty to show them the beauty of Islam. If they are all, alhamdulillah, practicing Muslim, let us get stronger and stronger so that we all work as a team, as a jama'ah. Get together and do everything together for the sake of Allah Rabbul Alameen. Why? Because the Prophet said, Jama'ah Rahmah. Doing things in a group collectively or have extra blessing. If everybody do things by themselves, it's not a good thing. Even what you do is good sometimes when you're not in a jama'ah, you create more fitna. So may Allah accept our deeds and forgive our sins. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthen our iman and also increase our sabar. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unite all of us as Muslims wherever you are. May Allah unite our heart together for the right cause, for the right intention, for the right mission to call human back to Allah, to worship Allah Rabbul Alameen. May Allah bless us, may Allah guide us, may Allah forgive all our sins. Amin. Ya Rabbul Alameen. Wa bilai tawfiqi wa laqri da'wana. Walhamdulillah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.